Many of us are asking for updates on visa status and quarantine rules in South Korea. Lend me your ears again for a while, and in Die in Korea, we'll share the latest updates in South Korea. The Embassy of the Republic of South Korea in the Philippines has posted their announcement informing that the Ministry of Justice in Korea has decided to exceptionally allow the visa issuance of student visa for those selected as GKS students by the Government of Korea in 2020 and this was posted last February 26, 2021. They have also posted the guidelines of the student's visa application, as well as the new notice on additional designation of hospitals for issuance of PCR negative test result. Let me discuss further on the immigration and quarantine rules of the Republic of Korea as of January 20, 2021 posted last February 5, 2021. Both the Korean nationals and foreigners who are traveling to the Republic of Korea are required to comply with the following rules of immigration and quarantine adopted by the government of the Republic of Korea as its response to significant global challenges related to the COVID-19 pandemic. Let's talk about the entry visa. The Embassy of the Republic of Korea temporarily suspends all the routine visa services. However, the following individuals may be exempted from the suspension. 1. Foreign diplomats and officials for diplomatic and official purposes. 2. Spouses and children of the Korean nationals. 3. Seafarers who are going to join vessels, which are anchored, or will be anchored in Korea only. 4. Businessmen who secure approval for their entry to Korea by relevant ministries of the government of the Republic of Korea. 5. Humanitarian reasons such as death of immediate family member. And as what I mentioned earlier the Embassy of the Republic of South Korea in the Philippines has posted their announcement informing that the Ministry of Justice in Korea has decided to exceptionally allow the visa issuance of student visa for those selected as GKS students by the Government of Korea in 2020, and this was posted last February 26, 2021. Negative PCR test certificate All the foreign nationals traveling from the Philippines to Korea are required to carry printed copies of the certificates that indicate negative results of polymerase chain reaction or PCR test regardless of visa type. The PCR tests must be performed in the hospitals designated by the Embassy of the Republic of Korea in the Philippines within 72 hours of traveling foreign nationals scheduled departure to Korea. They will be asked to present their negative results of the PCR test Manila to the airlines before boarding the flights to Korea, as well as to the quarantine officials upon arrival in Korea. If they fail to meet the above requirements of PCR testing, they will not be permitted to enter Korea. The above rules must be observed as well by all the foreign travelers who are transiting in Manila to South Korea but are cleared for entry to the Philippines by the Philippine Immigration Authorities. However, foreign travelers who are merely transiting in Manila to Korea without immigration admission to the Philippines are required to present printed copies of their negative results of the PCR test conducted in their countries of origin. Foreign nationals who are merely transiting in Korea to other countries with no immigration admission to Korea are not asked to present their individual PCR test results to the airlines before boarding the flights as well as to the quarantine officials upon arrival in Korea. Let's talk about the quarantine rules for asymptomatic foreign nationals. All the foreign nationals who are asymptomatic will not undergo PCR tests upon arrival in Korea. They are required to be quarantined for 14 days from arrival either at their residences or the facilities designated by the Korean government and will be asked to undergo PCR tests at local or regional medical centers near your quarantine place within three days since their arrival in Korea. When they confirm positive, they will be transported either to hospitals or to local medical facilities. These include 1. 
foreigners with long-term visas are permitted to conduct home isolation at their own residences. Two foreigners with short-term visas are in principle required to be quarantined the facilities designated by the government of the Republic of Korea. Three, however, the following foreigners with short-term visas may be permitted to be quarantined at their residences if those whose family members residing in Korea are either Korean nationals or foreigners with long-term visas, and the extent of family includes his or her spouse, the immediate family members of his or her own or his or her spouse, including the spouse of the said the immediate family and relatives within the relations of his or her third cousins. Let's talk about the quarantine rules for symptomatic foreign nationals. All the foreign nationals who are symptomatic upon arrival in Korea will be escorted to the facilities for PCR testing. Those who confirm negative at the tests undergone upon arrival will be asked to observe the 14-day long quarantine at their own residences or at the facilities designated by the Korean government, while those who confirm positive will be quarantined either at specialized hospitals or the medical facilities. All the holders of diplomatic, A1, official, A2, and agreement, A3, visas will be escorted to the facilities near to the airport for PCR testing regardless of being symptomatic or asymptomatic. They will be asked either to stand by at the facilities or to be quarantined at their own residences until their test results are released. When they confirm positive, they will be transported to specialized hospitals or the medical facilities. Those who confirm negative will be released from self-quarantine, but be under a voluntary monitoring arrangement. Let's talk about the negative PCR test certificate for Korean nationals. All the Korean nationals are not required to present their certificates of negative PCR test results issued by medical institutions accredited by the Embassy of Korea in Manila to the airlines before boarding flights to Korea, as well as to the Korean quarantine officials at the airport upon arrival. Let's talk about the PCR test and quarantine for Korean nationals. The Korean nationals who are symptomatic upon arrival are required to undergo PCR tests at the airport in Korea. Those who confirm positive will be transported to specialized hospitals or medical facilities, while those who confirm negative are required to be quarantined at their residences. Let's talk about the, the Korean nationals who are asymptomatic upon arrival are required to undergo PCR tests at local or regional medical centers near to their residences within three days since their arrival in Korea. Regardless of their PCR test results, all the Korean nationals who are traveling to Korea are required to be quarantined at their residences for 14 days starting from arrival. If a Korean national arrives in Korea on January 1, 2021, he or she should be quarantined until 12 p.m. on January 15, 2021. Let's talk about the quarantine exemption certificate, the Korean nationals and foreign nationals in possession of the quarantine exemption certificate are exempted from quarantine during the period of time set in the quarantine exemption certificate. Those who fall under the following cases may be eligible for applying for the quarantine exemption. They are advised to consult with the Embassy of Korea via plus 632-8856-9210. These are the following cases, 1. Humanitarian purposes such as attending funeral rituals for their immediate family members. The applicants are asked to submit the application form to the Embassy of Korea. The Embassy of Korea will review the application and issue the certificate when it meets the requirement. 2. Critical business purposes. The applicants are asked to submit the application form to the Entrepreneurship Immigration Support Center in Korea. The application will be reviewed by a relevant ministry of the Korean government. The relevant ministry will notify the embassy whether to issue the certificate to the applicant. The embassy will issue the certificate according to the official notification by the relevant ministry. Regarding condition number two, please contact to the Entrepreneurship Immigration Support Center in Korea. Plus 822-1566-8110 slash www.btsc.or.kr for further information. The quarantine exemption certificate must be issued by the Korean diplomatic missions. Those in possession of the certificate must be quarantined after the end of the period of time 
which is allocated for quarantine exemption till the 14th day since their arrival in Korea. So those were the latest updates in South Korea. I hope that gave you a bit of information on what's going on on visa status and quarantine rules in entering South Korea. If you like this video and you think this video is informative and helpful for everyone please hit like, share and subscribe for more updates. This is in Dying Korea thank you for watching. Goodbye.